I'm Mike with InTown Bicycles in Atlanta. Lubricating your bicycle is the most frequent maintenance you'll do next to pumping your tires. I'll show you what to lube and how to do it. So first we'll start by discussing what kind of lubes you can use. There are a lot of good lubricants on the market that can be used. Here are three that we recommend and sell. The first, Go Lube, is the most environmentally friendly because it's vegetable based. The only drawback is that it picks up the most dirt. The second, ProLink, has the best cleaning properties. However, it washes off easily, so it's important to re-lube after exposure to rain or other moisture. The third lube, TriFlow, which we're using today, is a good all-around lube. It's easy to apply, stays on well, and picks up minimal dirt. Now we're ready to lube, but it's important to clean the chain first. Apply some WD-40 to a rag. Note that WD-40 is not a lubricant. Then, run the chain through the rag. Cleaning your chain this way is good maintenance to do every week or two. It's always easier to keep the chain clean than it is to clean it after it's dirty. Okay, now we're ready to lube the chain. First, the top section. Simply touch the straw to the chain, pedal forward, and the chain will pull the lube right out of the bottle. Continue pedaling until the chain has gone full circle a couple times. We'll apply lube to both the right and the left sides. Then we'll move to the bottom. The procedure is the same here, except that we'll pedal backwards this time. Now that the lube has penetrated the chain, wipe off the excess surface lube. This is important to keep your chain from picking up too much dirt. And that's it for the chain. Next we'll move to the components of the rear derailleur, starting with the pulleys. Simply place the straw on each of the pulleys and pedal backwards. Now move up to the pivot points. There are a total of eight pivots. These are the four on the front. If you look on the back, you'll see the corresponding ones on the rear. Apply lube to these as well. Next we'll lube the cable. First step is to shift to the big cog. Then, without pedaling, click the rear shifter into the highest gear. This will put some slack in the cable, allowing you to disengage the housing. Slide it out of the way, and then lube the cable. Leave it unhooked, but before leaving the rear derailleur, be sure to wipe off any excess lube. Now onto the front derailleur. There are numerous pivot points on the derailleur. You'll see them upon examination. Lube each one. Also, run a generous amount of lube down the cable, and again, clean any excess. From here, we'll move to the back brake. Unfasten the cable at the caliper, Unhook the cable housing at the frame, slide it out of the way, and lube the cable. We'll keep the cable unattached, and then we'll move to the front cables. The brake cable is already loose, but now we need to access the gear cable as well. Start by shifting to the big chain ring. Then, grasp the cage to keep it stationary, and shift the front shifter into the lowest gear. The gear cable is loose now, too. With both cables loose, unhook the housing at the bosses. Slide the housing out of the way at the handlebars. Now you can access the cables. For the purposes of our demonstration, we're applying lube to the rear brake and the rear derailleur cables. You'll want to repeat this process with all the other cables as well. When you finish, refasten all the housings and you're done. So here are a couple things to leave you with. Lube your chain when it runs loudly or is dry to the touch. Be careful not to over lube your bicycle because the excess lube picks up dirt. And finally, of course, you can purchase any of these bike lubes at In Town Bicycles. And that's about it. I'm Mike with In Town Bicycles in Atlanta. Thanks for watching.